Instagram Reels. Adam Mazzari's baby, hot off the press, the most popular thing in the Instagram streets is taking over our social media lives on Instagram. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about Reels. I thought this would be a really good conversation and topic around Reels. Now, if you're marketing on Instagram or you know anything about Instagram, as I said in the opening, it's that it's Instagram's newest baby. If you go onto Instagram now, and you scroll through your newsfeed, you are gonna see nothing but Instagram Reels. And Adam Mazzari made it very clear that that's their focus. I have spoken about this. But where does that leave the average business owner right now in 2022? So you may have been marketing on Instagram in the traditional way, dabbing in here and there with video, but primarily images were your thing. And now being lumped with not only is it video focus, but it's short form video in the form of reels. How are we feeling about it? I've spoken to a number of entrepreneurs, some of my clients, those are in my community and those in the wider community. And depending on industries or just depending where you are in your business, your life, uh, confidence or not, it can feel a little bit overwhelming to go and start creating reels. I don't know how you feel about it, but I know for a lot of people that this is a little bit of a sticking point. So I wanted to share today just some basic tips on how business owners can feel a lot more confident to start creating reels and sharing more of that type of short form video content. So it's about remembering that you don't have to dance and point. So when Reels first came out, that was the Reels fashion, right? Dancing and pointing and all of that, which made a lot of people feel like they wanted to itch. I know for me, when I first started creating Reels, the thought of dancing and doing all of that pointing really, really was just a major no-no for me. I wasn't that confident with it. I didn't like the idea of it. But what I want to say to you is, is that you don't have to. You absolutely 100%. Who created that as the rule of thumb? Well, I'm here to tell you, no, that's not it. You absolutely 100% do not have to dance. To create reels, to have success, you do not have to point and dance. So that's the first thing that I want to remind you. The second thing is this, that you don't have to follow the trends. You can be confident to create the kind of content that is not trend specific. Now we've heard a lot of people saying, especially the reels experts, that in order for you to grow exponentially is to create reels that have trending audios or doing the trending style of video. And you absolutely 100% don't have to do that at all. You can carve your own path with this. You can create whatever type of content that you want to, but bearing in mind that the focus is around entertainment. Because remember, Instagram are competing with TikTok. Not that they can, in my humble opinion, but they're trying to compete with TikTok around the entertainment factor. So if you can have the balance of educating your audience around your area of expertise whilst being entertaining, and again, remember, you don't have to point and dance, that's none of that, then you are gonna have success, all right? You don't have to follow the trends. You just have to think of creative ways to get your message across to your target audience, sharing with them the opportunity of what you are an expert in. And I hope that that makes sense. The third thing is, is that stick to one theme. So when I say one theme, I'm talking about a message and make sure that you own it. It's pretty much the same as here on YouTube. In order for YouTube to be able to index our content and then show it to the right audience, we have to be consistent at that specific topic. So for those of you that are following my channel or subscribe to my channel, the hub and the core of everything, this is about live video strategy. And then from that, other forms of video content go around it. So it's the same thing for you on Reels. So think about sticking to one theme, that message and owning it. And that message should always be centered around your core pillar of content. So whatever it is that you're sharing in your posts, on your blogs, on your live streams, you know, make sure that you're taking that and applying that to your Reels. Don't let virality make you dilute your messaging. So that's the next point I want to make to you is stick to one theme, one message. And please, my friends, please make sure that you fully own it because that's going to help you to be confident with reels because you are the expert in your field, in your niche. You are the very best at what you do. 
So just remember that, take that and put it into your real strategy. So let's dab in quickly with the question of the day, giving you some time to think about it. How many Instagram reels have you created to date? Have you done any Instagram reels? Are you still sitting on the fence about it? And you might be like, mm, I'm not quite sure. Or you may be like, well, Jenny and I don't create Instagram reels because I create shorts here on YouTube. Or you may do TikTok. Do let me know in the comments, in the chat or on the replay. Let's move on to the next point. So how business owners can be more confident with reels is this. Keep it simple by starting with talking head style reels. And when I say talking head, it's just you and the camera and you sharing on a particular topic. I'm seeing more content creators, business owners now creating three, four, five part, seven part series based upon their specific area of expertise. And there are a number of amazing content creators that I really do admire who are doing this extremely well. So you don't have to do the voiceovers or dancing or anything. Start with keeping it simple. You'll be able to hopefully flow with ease. It will be effortless for you. Because again, like I've said, you are the expert at your field. You are the very best at what you do and you know your topic. Okay, we've got four more points to go. Are you still with me? You're picking up what I'm putting dead. Let me know in the comments. So the next thing is remember why you are creating reels, why you're creating that content. It always goes back to the why, doesn't it? No matter what we're doing, whether we are creating live video content, whether we're creating reels or whatever it might be, we always have to go back to the why and remember the reasons we are creating it so that we can be more confident. So ultimately, the reason why you want to create reels content is that you want to share your message and the opportunity with more people so that you can help them make changes in their lives. So it's about the transformation, isn't it? When we have more access to more people, then we can create bigger impact. So that's the next thing that I want to remind you is just remember why you are creating reels content and that will help you to create whether you're a batcher <laughs> or not, like me, I can't batch. The next point is keep your reels short and sweet. It doesn't have to be, you know, really long <laughs> video. So you don't have to do lots of transitions or, or pack lots of information into it. You can keep them nice and short and sweet. And I know some of you might be saying, but Janine, if I do the four or five part or seven part series, how am I going to get it all in, in that small bite-sized digestible chunks? This is exactly what you do. You break it up into a series. Again, it helps to take the pressure off of you and helps you to be a lot more confident. And remember when you're recording reels, you can edit in third party software like InShot, CapCut. The next point is this, have fun creating content. You know, content creation, absolutely 100% should be fun. Yes, majority of us are creating content because we're trying to market our products and services with business owners, marketers, but at the same time, sharing our message should be fun. And however you are sharing that message, just embrace it. You will find that your productivity, your output is going to be, it's gonna go up 10 notches. But if you feel like it's something that's really difficult, it's a real laborious task for you, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? And you start putting all these things on it, it's going to make it feel really weighted down. So in order for you to be confident, have fun creating the content. Remember, you are the captain of your ship. You can do whatever you want to do. You can create whatever content you want to create. As long as your messaging is clear and you know who you're speaking to and why, you can do whatever you wanna do. So the final point that I wanna make in today's session is this. Practice creates mastery. If you are practicing at something and you do it over and over again, you're gonna get good at it. So for those of you who are like, oh, I'm not confident with reels, I don't know what I'm doing, you can absolutely 100% be a boss at creating reels. It's not rocket science, it's really not that big of a deal. It's something that you are going to be able to enjoy, you're gonna be more confident at it as you go along. So those are the points I wanted to share with you today and thank you so much to those of you that are here. Let me just bring back the question of the day for those of you that that are tuning in. How many Instagram Reels have you created to date? Let me know if you have created Reels and if you haven't created them, what is it that's actually stopping you from doing so? I would really, really love to hear from you. If Reels is something that you wanna explore more of, be sure to check out the playlist that's coming up on the screen. It's gonna help you with all things Reels related.
did. So definitely check that out. And let me know if you have any questions. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye guys.